It's a real pleasure to be hosting the NAS Legacy Foundation here at Thomas Good today. Uh, as Harris said, we've had uh, presidents of the United States, uh, Bill Clinton, we've had the Aga Khan recently, we've had Sir Elton John and many, many other leaders and many other organizations here. But uh, NAS Legacy and uh, Harris Bakari holds a special place in my heart and all the work you're doing, Harris, so it really is a privilege to be holding this uh, event here. I'm proud as an immigrant from this country to be the owner uh, of this great British institution, and it does make me very proud to uh, uh, be part of uh, an institution that goes back since uh, 1827. Feel free uh, after the speeches, or even during the speeches, if you want to do some shopping <laughs> uh, uh, and, and walk around. Uh, Naz Bukhari, Hina and Harris's father, came to the UK in the 1960s. Naz's father died when he was 12 years old, and Naz Bukhari had to support his three younger brothers and his mother. He came to the UK to improve his life and the life of his family. He went and got a job, and he was eventually landed up as a manager at Simpsons in, the, in Piccadilly. He rose, he was a brilliant guy, but he hit ceilings. He couldn't be promoted because, frankly, the color of his skin was wrong. Um, he decided to leave uh, Simpsons and go back to his calling at his early age, which was that of a teacher. He went into teaching and eventually he became the head teacher of Ernest Bevan School for Boys in Tooting. He was the first Muslim and the first Asian head teacher in the UK. Coincidentally, our mayor, Sadiq Khan, went to the, the same school at the age of 13. Naz Bukhari passed away in 2011, but his neg legacy now lives on through the Naz Legacy Foundation and through his daughter and son, Hina and Harris. Your father would be really proud of the work that you're doing. Both of you and the Naz Legacy Foundation are incredible role models for everyone in our society. And I just want to stress the importance of role models in our society. Each and every person here tonight is an incredible role model for what they're doing. You wouldn't be here unless you were a role model, an active citizen, and a responsible citizen. I've got the pleasure to uh, be recently appointed on the Citizen Citizenship and Civil Engagement Select Committee in the House of Lords. It's chaired by Lord, Lord Hodgson of Astley. I'm the only non-white person on that committee, the only immigrant in that community. And my role on that committee, I see, is standing up for immigrants. The committee is actually citizenship and civil engagement, and a lot of it is focused on immigrants. But I say that actually we must be, as immigrants, we must be very proud and we must focus also on the problems in our host community, where there are huge problems as well. So my message to everyone today is be proud of your identity be proud of who you are, be an ambassador, and hold your head up very high, because there is so much to learn from people of all communities. It's a great pleasure also to welcome the Secretary of State for Education and the Minister for Women and Equalities. You come from another minority community. You've had to break many ceilings, and you're an example to us all for doing that. You're an MP for Putney, Roehampton, and Southfields. You work as a great local, local member of parliament, campaigning for the rights and concerns of your constituents. You campaign for, against aircraft noise, you campaign for local transport investment, and you campaign for the regeneration of your constituency. In 20, in, uh, you, you were appointed by Prime Minister David Cameron as Secretary of State for International Development. You played a lead role, and I will always remember this, in Sierra Leone in the Ebola crisis. In July 2016, you were appointed by Prime Minister Theresa May as Secretary of State for Education and Minister for Equalities. Thank you so much for giving up so much of your time and coming to this uh, event this evening. Thank you.